What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 32 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question says that the choices below are data sets where W is a constant and everything is in terms of W. So like we have W minus 2, W plus 2, minus 1, plus 1, and so on. Each choice has the same mean, so each choice has the same average, and we're trying to figure out which choice is going to have the greatest standard deviation. Standard deviation, as you might have guessed, is the big idea in this question. So what is standard deviation? Standard deviation is what we call a measure of spread. The bigger the standard deviation, the more spread out our data is. So we can actually look at our answer choices and try to figure out which one seems like it's most spread out. If I had to guess, I'd say that choice B is more spread out than choice A because we have two minus twos and two plus twos as opposed to a minus two and a minus one and a plus two and a plus one. So in general, we got some data that's further out. Um, choice C and choice D look pretty good uh, because we have minus threes and plus threes. But honestly, just based on all this, I'm not 100% sure. So I need to actually get some data into my calculator and find some one variable statistics and test out all of that. So first, I need to pick a value for w. As long as it's the same thing every time, I'm going to be fine because that's what a constant means. So let's go with, how about 4? Which means that if I'm going to plug in a number for each of these, choice a, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 is just 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So if I'm going to test this and try to figure out its standard deviation, I go to stat, edit, I clear out everything I had before, and I just type in 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I press stat again, calc one variable statistics, and this is the one I'm interested in, this weird O looking thingy that I believe is a Greek letter. This is 1.414, so my standard deviation of that set is 1.414, just about. So now let's test out choice B. 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 is just 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. So now I go back to stat, change my data so that instead of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, I now have 2, 2, 4, 6, and 6. Stat, calc, one variable statistics. Okay, so I see my standard deviation has gone up a bit. That's going to be about 1 and 789 thousandths. So that one's bigger. So my hunch about B being more spread out than A was correct. Now let's try C, where, nope, don't need my calculator yet, where if I do 4 minus 3, that's 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4, 5, and 7. Stat, edit, change my data. 1, 3, 4, 5, 7. Stat, calc, one variable stats, press enter again, and my standard deviation is exactly two. All right, so now we test out choice D, where four minus three is one, four, 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 and seven. Stat, edit, change all the numbers that I need to. So now I'm testing one, four, 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 and seven stat calc one variable stats and now my standard deviation is 1.897 it's probably clear at this point that c has the greatest standard deviation and that's one way we can tell that the data that the numbers in this set are most spread out